Hey y'all, and welcome back to our uh, commentary on Magical Mirror, starring Mickey Mouse! Um, who's up for another uh, Through the Mirror callback? Oh, what's that? What do we have here? Oh, what kind? Mm -hmm. huh? You may remember in the original short, what's about to happen here involved Ooh. Mickey eating a walnut. Here it's with a witch doll. What? Oh! The little witch doll. Through the power of Whoa. this doll, oh, oh, boy. Mickey what grows the? twice his Whoa. size! Oh, goodness! Jeez! <laughs> Dang. God! Oh. And then immediately shrinks down. Oh! oh. Poor Mickey! I was an abomination! The hell was the point of all that? Hey, remember Alice in Wonderland when that happened to her? Yeah, yeah. so now yeah. what do we do now that we're all tiny? Well, while we're all tiny, we now have a whole new world to explore, which is literally the previous three rooms that we've, pre that we've been through. A whole new world! Oh, and uh, <laughs> actually, speaking of callbacks, you're about to see another see a callback to one of my person one of my uh, personal favorite Mickey shorts. Um, Mr. Mouse takes a trip. Oh, Ooh, money, money, oh, the money, all the, <laughs> the money, money for me to take. But, but wait, the train's about to leave. We should probably take that with us. I don't know why, but I love that close up of Mickey going like. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, the... no, no. Oh. So is that it? We die? No, oh, no, we no. don't die. Just keep watching. <laughs> My treasure. No. I got it! I got it! Whoop. Wait for I me! Got it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I believe in kids mode, if you this whole scene is literally played out and you get inside the train and just that's it. Here for the normal mode, they actually extend the sequence. Okay. Makes sense. And this I will argue is probably one of the more unsettling moments of the game. Okay, so we're on a train and we got our loot. A toy train, no less. What the? What's what the, that? The, of course. What's with the ominous music? Mm -hmm. Well, the ghost was uh, in there, wasn't he? Yes. Well, yeah, yeah he was. And um, as always, the ghost want, wanted to play a mean old trick on me. This time, he turns the suitcase into a mimic. Oh, oh, oh shoot! That's oh, no. going to kill the mouse. That's actually pretty creepy for a kid's game. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we gotta play it one more trick. Trick. So, is it fair to call this game... Oh! Is that really a trick? Or it's just a trick. Here's the thing about this, this sequence. If you fail to actually activate that trick, uh, Mickey does end up getting bitten by that thing, and pretty much everything that happened up until this, up until the... Like, basically the whole sequence essentially gets reset. Right. Ah. But in trick, but in um, actually subduing the mimic, we get a star holder. Nice. Ooh, nice! And I was just, so now that I've been watching more of this, and I will admit that was well, that was much more cinematic than I thought it was going to be with all yeah. that going on. <laughs> but I was gonna say uh, now, is it would it be fair to compare this game and basically say that it's ultimately just a big QTE bonanza? Kind of, sort of. I mean. I mean, I guess it goes without saying, like, every time you need to pull off a trick, like, what you first have to do is you have to highlight a particular portion of the screen and then press the A button to, um, you know, free freeze the scene in order to act to um, give you the choice to activate said trick. And now that we're so tiny, we can actually do something about that uh, plug. Also, just, I'm almost coming out of a mouse hole. Our original. Uh -huh. I'm yeah, also just looking at this that's... going, like, wait, really? Do we have to be small to just reach back and unplug and replug it in. Fit back there, I guess. Well, we, we could have easily just moved the TV. Nope, or nope, we got to do it this way. Or, or you could have just or you could have just reached your hand back there. Plugging in an outlet is not a nope, full body experience. Nope. I have to, I have to, listen listen to me. All of life's problems need to be solved by shrinking yourself. He had such an uh -huh. intense, actually, it's such an intense look there that with hype's voice combined, I just have the idea that there, that's how you do it, punk. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like, I thought it was like, All right, you listen here, you little snot, you. What the? <laughs> <laughs> what? Was there hail coming? What the heck? Uh-oh. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, boy. Jesus. A rubber ducky? Huh? Oh, that's um, not bad. Well, that's not unsettling at all. Uh, I mean, it's weird looking, but it's not. Uh, good day to you too, Mr. Rubber Duck. Why is it moving? That duck's what, gonna kill what? you. I was gonna say, why is it following? Da -da! <laughs> Can I just say real quick? This is actually, as far as like, in, like creepy scenes in this entire game, this one's actually rather effective. Oh, oh geez! Because that duck is demonically possessed. Ooh. Uh oh. 
Oh, Again, no. I th I think what gets me more is the music because it gets genuinely pretty scary with its Ooh. musical like strings. Yeah. And like, <laughs> oh yeah, no, the music easily completely sells this whole scene and just well, the fact that it literally is a matter of life and death for oh, the boy. poor mouse. Oh, those teeth! Come on, Get Nikki, the activate the trick. I love how it gives you the choice of do you want to survive? Uh, I mean, wouldn't you? But I love how they give you the option of, like, would you like to survive? It's like, well, what happens if you say no? We'll just... Yeah, well, again, if it... Why does it give you the option to say no? Right, what would it be... How would you stand to benefit? I mean, like I said, if at any point you do fail one of these trick sequences, you literally do revert back to normal. Oh, boy. Oh, <gasps> oh no! Oh, it's right behind me, isn't it? That is some serious shining shit right there. Yeah. All it needed was it to be staring directly at the camera when- Oh, hey! <laughs> That's a good idea! This is so unsettling! I, I just love that Gmod stillness of like- Alright, now we're gonna shoot it, right? Oh, start it! Start the plane! Come on! Come on! Don't tell me the virus were plugged in! Oh, thank goodness! There we go. Whee! Why was that so unsettling to watch? Because well, it's, well, it's yeah. first off, I gotta say, it's kind of stupid that this is all over a duck. <laughs> now shoot the duck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's a, it's a duck that's literally the size of King Kong in our current state. Yeah! Well, now he is gonna shoot the duck. Oh. We shall take it down. Shoot that's a gotcha. Yeah, yeah, dude, oh. shoot him. What are we doing in this <laughs> army? Yeah. It's adorably stupid. Adios, duck, what? <laughs> what the hell? And of course, it, the ghost was up to his usual tricks again. Well, but yeah, of course, no, now he's gonna ghost. try to get. Now he's gonna try to get away. Oh yeah, now take him down. Hate light specter. Uh -huh. So yeah, gonna yeah, I will admit. Oh, here um, we go. And I'll be ghost. Oh no. But, ba, 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 ba. but I was gonna say yeah, like gotta be honest, like this is definitely like now much more cinematic than I expected it to be. Oh yeah, no, like again, if there's one thing that this game definitely oh, has going just, for it, it's just right. how well. Thanks. Like, it really, it takes full advantage oh, of the oh, fact that it's more geez. of a point and click than an actual, like, typical platform or anything. So they have a lot, they can get away with a lot more cinematography, can for lack of a better word. Ghost in time? Oh yeah, so now we come to our first mini-game of Magical Mirror, and these are, well, they're okay, but they're ra rather simplistic. And the only real reason that these exist in the first place is to, well, help you get, uh, grind up on star power in case you're lacking any, and there's no Im stars immediately available for you to grab Mm -hmm. I think this is probably the closest thing we've had to, like, an actual gameplay in this yeah, game. Actual, like, moment. Yeah, I have to agree. I'm sorry. I mean, again, Just making that's... sure Discord saying it's not picking up my mic. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah we, we can hear you. Yeah, we hear you. Okay. Okay. But, um, anyway, just... Again, that's kind of like the whole thing of this game being a point and click. There's not much gameplay involved. It's more so just, well, watching events unfold and you Actually, have direct control over it. Though, I mean, the fact that the trick system is still a thing, it shows that you still have some control over your actions. Actually, real quick, since you brought that up, since you should check to see if Audacity still picks up your mic. It, it does, I already checked. Okay, yeah, okay that's just good. making sure. Typ typical tap, uh, typical snafus here. Or all yeah, it's okay. Or this is very minor. I, I gotta yeah. reset my router at some point. And do it's, but anyway, just the typical sniff. The just the typical. Ghost. There he is. Take him out. Buda, 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 I guess oh, I should ask. So oh. disturbing. Yeah, with the, with the sounds. Also, I guess. Oh I guess, my god, do, he's does, glowing. Does, does the ghost ever? Is the ghost ever given a silly name? <gasps> I think it's just called the ghost. Oh, I looked all worried for a second, actually. Aww. And down it goes, and we won. That's nice. all, folks. Crashes. <laughs> I honestly, I do know the ghost has a, like a full-on name in the instruction manual. I just forget what it, exactly it's called. I think it was like a wandering ghost or a spooky. Honestly, I'll have to look that up later. I'll, I'll let future me, uh, you know, do the typical post the text here okay. to tell you what that ghost name is. I just we'll just call him Spectre. Exactly. Yeah. If you want more info on this game's engaging lore, check out the enclosed instruction book. Uh -huh. <laughs> but like, that's the yeah. thing is that like, you know how that's always like, oh, it's a random character that is given like. The, the player is going to pay them no mind. What was its name? Ostro. Oh, the ostrich. I mean, who would have guessed? I mean, to, be, to be fair, though, considering the fact this is literally the like the one, like the one, you know, op opposing force in this entire game, at least it would make sense to at least know its name. Yeah. Well, anyway, now yeah. that we have enough stars to um actually, you know, jump on the bed. Finally. <gasps> okay, okay, I don't think we needed all that, game director. <laughs> Again, like. I wouldn't be surprised if the if the freaking cinematography people for for this game also were also involved in the first okay. Devil May Cry. Maybe. 
I mean, it makes oh. sense, too, considering the fact that I think this game came out roughly around the same time as um, some of Capcom's other games, like Resident Evil or DMC2, for whatever that's worth. So, I, you know, I, that's, I, <laughs> actually, that's funny. The people that should have been there for the second game were were too busy with this game, as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's really funny that you keep making comparisons to Devil May Cry and the cinematography. It's like, just imagine, like, the cinematography of these two games. This white-haired pretty boy destroying all the demons of hell versus Mickey jumping on a bed. <laughs> Who will win? Even Mickey doesn't know. I mean, considering the fact that one of those franchises is still relevant even today, I think that goes without saying who won that, that battle. I just mean in the sense of, like, the, that it's even worth comparing the two. I mean, yeah, it's weird at the end of the day, but you know what? Capcom's, Capcom's whole library of games is probably some of the more diverse you'll ever find in the third-party scene. I mean, hell, as of recently, they released their um, previously Apple Arcade exclusive game, uh, Shinsekai Under the Depths, which is like this 2D, me this Metroidvania game where you're underwater the whole time. There. And it's <laughs> like nothing compared to the likes of this or Devil May Cry or even Street Fighter. Mm. Oh! In fact, one. I would say that game's more comparable to the likes of Lost Planet than if anything. Alright, well, simple solution. Right. I just throw the vase on the floor. Right, you don't you have know to... What? You're not far off, Hype. Because, uh, yeah, you got his hand stuck. Well... Uh -oh. Oh, no, was... I totally sorry, knew that would happen. Sorry I keep doing that. Mm. Doing what? Oh, no. I mean, oh, no. it's time to watch. Okay. And... Oh. Oh. No. Oh. oh, he got stuck in his mouth! I'm trying not to say it now. <laughs> I'm sure I'm surprised that thing didn't break up on impact. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, like, smash his face. So, yeah, I was going to say, like, they definitely put a lot into the animations of this. They definitely put a lot yeah. into the camera work and scenarios here. Um... What the? Oh, stop. Hey. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's Remember cute. When I talked about stop that? it. Come on. Stop it. This is getting low. Ah, oh. My footsies. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. By the way, welcome to the, the FOE, folks. And I mean, like, every Capcom game with a FOE pretty much looks almost the exact same. Let's be real here. <laughs> yeah. First, first oh, off, it's pronounced, it. first off, it's pronounced for year. And second off, where are we going to do with this? Throw it. Oh, we'll just pluck it out. Oh. Looks like um, I found Minnie's anniversary gift. Uh huh. A simple flower. A simple flower. That was years ago! Well, it's a different flower. The perfect dream gift. Ha! Huh, get it? Dream gift? Ha! ha. I'm tapping you. <laughs> Did we just harmonize there? That was cool. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, while we're inside the, fo the uh, foyer here, or foyer, however you want to pronounce it, I, people pronounce it in many different ways. Uh, there's actually two. There's actually three particular roads we can take here, and uh, pay no mind to the ghost up there. I didn't even see him. Uh, that's why there I he is. No mind to him. Oh, I saw oh. him. Yeah, <laughs> that's supposed to be your little clue. That's that you could probably you should probably uh, interact with that uh, chandelier at some point. Aha! Uh -huh. Woo! But of course, cool, and just. <laughs> The fact that they put a star holder there, I wouldn't be surprised if in some regard that was some sort of callback to Resident Evil where you were supposed to go under the uh, stairs like that. Mm. Again, and now for a callback to Luigi's Mansion. Oh, yeah. Funny, co funny coincidence, considering this game came out a year after that game, I think. Ah. Wow, really? The ghost is done uh -oh. fucking around. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. He's gonna kill it's us. It's kind of dark, man. Wasn't that what he's been trying to do? Yeah, he's time? pulling a freaking clock tower on us. Uh -oh. Ah! oh no! Oh, down it goes. And Mickey, you better ah! go. Oh! Oh! That was close. That almost hit me. I thought it was exactly Mickey. What does that ghost have against me anyway? Oh. Sheesh. You roll it in. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was about to say. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, <laughs> just, just well, a little. Oh. What well, if he lost like... his tail? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see a tail on him anyway, so... Yeah, that's the joke. Yeah, we know. I was gonna say, did he ever have a tail? Not no. in this model. It's just not there. Yeah, well, I was just about to... Poly. Just continuing off what oh, me and Jordan hello. were... Okay. Just continuing off what me and Jordan were doing, it's like, Sheesh, why did I ever do that, that ghost? You ate the last applesauce. But I don't even like applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Me. And I was gonna say, What's that guy got against me? You own everything. To what? To who? So wait. 
So wait, is the entire is the whole plot the whole plot twist we're about to discover sometime in the future is that the ghost that ghost we've been dealing with is actually the ghost of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit? Oh I mean, yes. Maybe? <laughs> okay. Speaking of which, how, speaking of which, how's that cartoon coming along? Still no update yet. Mm. Hopefully in due time, but yeah. It, actually, yeah, there was an entirely good point for us to uh, fiddle with that chandelier because there because a yeah, mirror shard popped out of it. Thank goodness. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'm very, I'm mm -hmm. very curious because we already know the sad fate of E3. Do you think that means they'll also cancel D23 as well? Because that's when they usually announce a lot of their like show-related announcements. Uh, I... if anything, I wouldn't be surprised if they'll probably shift it to a digital experience more than a physical. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I mean that's pretty much what everyone, everyone's trying to do nowadays. Like even E3 is trying to uh, see if they can't prepare a, um, a uh, digital uh, streaming event as opposed to, well, you know, what they usually do every year. True. Anyway, how do we get out of this dank old mansion? There you go. <laughs> and the devs said oh, no, oh. Mouse, you're staying in there. Nope! <laughs> oh, come on! Let us in, man! Really? Mm. Or out. So, yeah, hate to say it, folks, but you're stuck what? in here for the rest of the game. There's no uh, way out of this floor. Fair. Yeah. I mean, fair enough. Honestly, <laughs> like, honestly, I think well, what really would have sold that is if, you know, just... You know, he gets kicked. He literally gets kicked there, and then all of a sudden, a zombie dog's head pops out. It's like, you stay in there, mouse. <laughs> and a zombie Pluto. Oh a zombie no! Pluto. Oh no! <laughs> not if he Pluto. looked like the, if he Pluto, looked like the no. guy, if he, if he looked like the things from Resident Evil, good. Gosh. Yeah, the freaking the Cerberus dogs. Oh god, no! I don't even want to think about that. On that note, folks, uh, yeah, we're stuck in here for the long haul. So stay tuned for the next part as things get even more magically twisted. Ooh, see ya. Bye, bye. bye. My hopeless is a Mickey's blood. Coffee, it's great. <laughs>